Uh, we will have time for questions, hopefully, at the end. Yes, absolutely. Um, but at the moment, that's what we have left. Thank you very much. You want answers? <laughs> you want answers? I want the truth! Everybody! You, you can't handle the truth! Okay, thank you. Uh, Alright, let's get into the key rules of social media. Engage others, create value, be memorable, bring friends, make friends, and the golden rule, serve the community, then serve yourself. This is true whether you're tweeting, or blogging, or presenting at a conference, or using Q&A sites. I want to start with a couple of examples. Best Buy Metals. They sell metal roofing material, metal shingle supplies. Guy runs a site, went on, answered a bunch of questions on Yahoo Answers. Typical answer is he gives some useful information, and then he, said, then he gets self-serving. Hey, and one place where you can find roofing for is my site. And then he gives more useful information. Important point to realize here is that Wikipedia set one standard. Wikipedia is ideologically against anything self-serving. That's not true for the Q&A sites. Q&A sites generally play according to general uh, modes of, uh, of social media. As long as you serve the community first, as long as you're contributing value, you can get away with an awful lot of self-promoting, as long as it's you know, reasonable and tasteful. Okay? So what does this guy get out of this? He promotes himself as an expert. He potentially makes a customer out of the person who asks this question and out of future people who will get to this question, other Yahoo Answer users will get that question. And perhaps most importantly, and this is an important point, sites like Yahoo Answers are actually optimized not for the guy who asked the question on the site, but for the guy who's coming from Google a few weeks later, a few months later, a few years later. Okay? This guy's site, this guy's answer, this guy's self-serving answer ranks second, um, ranks second for this search query. The guy probably doesn't have the power to rank his own site second for this monetizable competitive, competitive query but he was able to leverage Yao Answers SEO power to get his message out in the number two slot. Example close to my heart, sports collectible site. This guy's answered literally thousands of questions on baseball collectibles. As a side note, if any of you work with, uh, with Cubs fans, it's always a good opportunity to mention 1969 whenever you can, especially if you're a Mets fan. If, uh, if you're particularly self-destructive, you do it while your manager's in the audience. Hi, Jeff. Um, this particular, this guy, his answers are actually templated. If you notice, the, the title and the first and third paragraphs are specific, devoted, targeted answers to this question. The second and fourth paragraphs are actually boilerplate. Value is based on average prices, signatures not properly authenticated, etc. The end result is, in a reasonable amount of time, this guy was able to create a lot of good, quality, complete, targeted answers that built him up as an expert, answer the user's questions, perhaps get some leads, and he links to his own site at the bottom, related links, he has his site. And what happens beyond that is this guy owns the above the shopping results on the Google page for a highly competitive monetized query. Cubs team autograph ball. Uh, probably largely because of the links to himself from Wiki Answers. He has his own site ranking first. And then two answers he gave on Wiki Answers actually ranked second and third for the same search. He does this, he's done this on a lot of stuff through the uh, baseball collectibles category, doing a good job building his business. Okay, let's go take a step back, discuss the different community Q&A sites, how they work, how they differ. The biggest site out there is Yahoo Answers, which according to Comscore had over 43 million unique US visitors in January, and the actual number is probably higher. Behind them is Wiki Answers, just under 43 million. WikiHow is growing very nicely, AnswerBag, another site. The LinkedIn number, by the way, that's for the entire site. Uh, their answer section is a small part of that, but they don't break out those statistics anyway. Wait, it's not just market share, though. Okay, the sites differ. If you're building a professional network, if you're building your reputation online, if you build up a LinkedIn profile, you definitely need to go out, need to go out there and go to the answer section of LinkedIn. Same thing, business.com, just added an answer section. It's a great way to continue building your reputation, building yourself as an authority, and making leads. <coughs> Most 
the sites out there are multiple answers, as everybody contributes his own answers. Some of the sites out there, Wiki Answers and Wiki How, are Wiki sites. And a typical multi, multiple answer site, Yahoo by default has questions open for four days, over which time people contribute their answers. The best answer is selected. The nice advantage of that is if you gave the best answer, you're locked in there for good, you're in there. The downside is that you can only deal with questions that were recently asked. And if you don't get the best answer, you won't really get seen. The Wiki site's advantage is every question, almost every question is open all the time. Disadvantage is every question is open all the time. So you will sometimes get, you know, get noticed, notified that your question was improved, your answer was improved. Sometimes some help, helpful noble soul just fixed the typo. Sometimes they did more. Usually you can work things out in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, there are horizontal sites, there are niche sites. Best niche sites out there, I think, are uh, Joel Spolsky and Jeff Atwood. Came out with Stack Overflow, Answers on Startups, a uh, bunch of others. You definitely should find the Q&A sites in your niche. It's a great way to build connections and leads within your industry. Free versus pay, focus mostly on the free sites. There are also expert sites out there. I uh, used JustAnswer.com a month ago. Experts register, and then the, and then the consumers come in and they ask a question, they pay some money to the site, some money to the editor, etc. Other sites out there, Aardvark, which was uh, a couple of Google executives split off, built a Q&A site, got bought back by Google for $50 million. Nice gig if you can get it. Uh, Yeda, nice little Israeli site. Uh, WikiHow is doing a great job. Yeah. Okay, how do you do it? What do I do? First, okay. First thing to do, is to find the answer section on any of these Q&A sites. Okay, and then you can browse open questions, search for open questions. You can also always ask your own question. Second step, when you answer the question, give a good, useful, accurate answer, and where appropriate, link back to yourself. Follow up with the asker where appropriate. Create your profile. Okay, part of the reason you're doing this is to build, bring people back to your profile. Uh, establish yourself as an expert, create your profile, and make it a good one. Interact and follow up, especially if you're dealing with a professional network site where your goal is to target that individual user. Find out if your answer was helpful, ask them if there's anything else that person needs. Uh, especially on sites like LinkedIn, you need to be doing that. Finally, don't lose control. You may be working from the privacy of your own office, the privacy of your own home, but everything you type out there, is, is Googleable, it's eternal, don't lose control. A few more numbers. Our friends over at Best Buy Metals uh, did an analysis, they posted their analysis to uh, SDO Moz, a popular post there. According to his analysis, he answered 53 questions from Yahoo Answers, average of seven minutes per answer, and he found that his cost per conversion was about 30% less than the cost per conversion on his successful pay-per-click campaigns. And that's just a start, because the work that he did is still up there. His answers are still generating traffic, probably still generating leads. Business.com, before getting into the industry, they did a study. They asked over 1,000 business people who said they used social media for business, and over 90% said they found the business Q&A between somewhat useful and very useful. I'll finish with a couple more examples. A nonprofit example, a Barack Obama supporter, Used Wiki Answers to answer a bunch of questions. Each answer was targeted, fair, accurate, uh, and useful to a site. Link back to targeted pages on his site. We reached out to the uh, McCain and Clinton campaigns, trying to get them to do the same. They didn't. I'm taking neither the credit nor the blame for the election results, but I am saying that I'm not surprised that the candidate that better used social media, including Q&A site, is the one that won. Final example. A couple of weeks ago, I asked the question, asked and answered the question, when is Vanessa Fox's book coming out? I was pleasantly surprised a few hours later when I got a notification that a user named Vanessa Fox had improved the answer, adding some useful information, showing one more thing you can do with Q&A sites is if there are A-listers in your industry when you're stalking, you can, you can try to get their attention by uh, trying to serve their interests and build their reputations on some of the Q&A sites. Can't hurt. <laughs> a final thing I got out of this, by the way, was in addition to coming up first on the Google result, 
my user profile page piggybacked into the number two spot. To summarize, community Q&A sites get about 100 million unique visitors per month in the United States alone. Great opportunity to get your message out, drive traffic, establish yourself as an authority and as somebody helpful. Remember the golden rule, serve the community, then serve yourself. Speaking of serving myself, Angels.com, great little company down the mountain, is hiring engineers. Just Google Angels.com jobs. We'd love to have you. Feel free to contact me. I'm Gil R. Contact me through my Answers.com user message boards or through Twitter. Apparently, there's a new technology called talking to people. I'm not that good at it. I used to be a programmer. But uh, happy to try to reach out and uh, see how I can help you. Thanks.